Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of graphing on the coordinate plane. This is standard 6.11a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 5 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have four coordinates on the grid, and only three of them show up here in A, B, C, or D. We need to find the one that does not appear, and that's going to be our answer, which one does not appear. So let's just start looking at each of these points. Let's see if we can graph them real quick. So we've got four quadrants. Quadrant one has got a positive x and y. Quadrant two negative x but still a positive y it's still above that horizontal line negative x negative y is in quadrant three and then quadrant four has got a positive x it's still on the left side or the right side of this y axis but it's got a negative y so let's take a look at this first one we've got an x coordinate remember the x coordinate always comes first because x comes before y in the alphabet so it's between 1 and 2, so we're going to call it 1.5. It's going to be a positive 1.5 because it's on the right side of this y-axis. And then the y-coordinate the y is going to be pretty simple. It's just 2. It's right there on the line. So 1.5 comma 2. Let's go in order of the quadrant. So let's come over here to this point. It's in quadrant 2, and it's got a negative x. It's all the way over there, negative 4 but it still has a positive y. It's just barely above that x-axis. So we're going to call that 0 0.5 because it's between 0 and 1. Looks like everything, all the decimals here look like they're just halves. Now, this quadrant 3 point here, if we look at our x-axis right between the negative 1, negative 2, looks like it's about negative 1.5 for the x-coordinate. The y-coordinate is just going to be a negative 1, but you notice how on our quadrant 3, both x and y are negative. Now in our quadrant 4, first x-axis, so that's going to be between 2 and 3. We're going to call that 2.5. And we have a negative y-coordinate. It's negative 3 because it's below the x-axis. Now when we look over here at a, b, c, or d, I naturally went to decimals, but take a look. We've got some improper fractions. We've got some mixed numbers. This one looks like it's okay. So we're going to go ahead. Actually, it's got a de it's got a fraction, and everything is going to be decimal. So let's go ahead and rewrite all of these as decimals, since that's what I went ahead and did. So five over two. 5 over 2, so if we want to change that into a decimal, we just divide up, right? So 2 goes into 5, that's going to be twice, decimal, decimal, bring that 0 down, so that's going to be 5, so 2.5, so really this is 2.5 comma negative 3, so do we have a 2.5 comma negative 3, that's got it right there. So that means we found it, wrong answer, we want the one that does not show up. So negative one and a half, well, the one and a half, remember the one half, is just equal to 0 0.5. That's something we learned in sixth grade. So we're just going to call that negative 1.5. Ah, take a look here. They flipped the order of the x and y coordinates. I'm thinking that's going to be my answer. Let's double check on C. C, 2 goes into 3 once with 1 left over, so that's going to be 1.5, comma 2. So 3 halves is 1 and a half, which is 1.5. And we see that right here, so that's not the answer. And then D, we've got negative 4. And then this 1 half, and that's just 0 0.5. So negative 4, 0 0.5, that's it right there. So yes, our answer is B, because take a look what they did. They switched the X and Y coordinates.